Hello everyone! Welcome to Carpentry Works. Ready? Let's begin. Hello everyone! Today, we will talk about tools and materials for stick out building lines. We have the learning outcome one, prepare tools and materials for stick out building lines. We have the sub competencies. The first one we have, identify tools and materials for stick out building lines. Second, prepare tools and materials for stick out building lines. So what is tools? Tools. Tools are defined as implements used to modify raw materials for human use. Tools can be as extension of the hand thereby increasing its speed, power, and accuracy. Perfect your job with the right tools. Everyone has heard the saying, the right tool for the right job. And you are only as good as your tools. These sayings are very true when it comes to the choice and the use of tools in the construction sites. We have the pull push rule. A pull push rule is a measuring tape that calls into a compact case and it is used for measuring long, short, and straight lengths. It is also called a flexible tape that slides into a material case and it's used to measure irregular and regular shapes. By using these tools, always remember that do not pull the tools to its maximum level or it will only destroy the tool. The open rail tip or the tape measure. This tool is used to measure an area of a building in long distances. This is commonly used by engineers to measure the area of a building in actual site. Clue Hammer A person cannot be called a carpenter without the clue hammer. In most cases, this must be as always by a carpenter and both on his holster. This tool is used in driving and pulling out nails. Pulling out nails ranging from 1 to 2 inches. In using these tools, always remember that pull out only nails that are in its rings. Otherwise, it will only break its handle. Sledgehammer This tool is used to drive sticks or pigs into the ground for strong impact and enhances durability. This is a tool with a large flat open metal head attached to a long handle and the long handle combined with a heavy head allows the head hammer or the sleeves hammer to gather momentum during a swing and apply a large force compared to hammers designed to drive nails. Cruise cut saw. This tool is used to cut wood across the green. Cruise cut saw. Remember that these tools needs to be sharpened first before using just to maintain its effectiveness. Rip saw. This tool is used to cut the wood along the green. Tri square. A tri square is a special purpose square in wood and metal working. This is used to mark or measure the materials. The name tri square comes from the concepts of drying a surface 
or to cheek, a surface straightness, or correspondent to an adjacent surface. And it's square, or a 90 degree or right angle. This is used to test the flatness and squareness of a small piece of stock or lumber. Steel square, or sometimes called a priming square. It is an L shape with one arm forming a perfect right angle to the other. In construction, this is used for laying out purposes to get the exact or perfect square of an area or corner. The pencil. This tool is used to mark sticks or figs or lumber. This serves also as guide for reference lines or any lines in construction. The raking bar or sometimes called reaping bar tool used to pull out bigger nails ranging from 3 to 4 inches and above with a name like raking bar this tool is clearly not a delicate work it's got a nail puller on one end and a frame wedge on the other this is big enough to handle extracting nails larger than 16 diameter it can also free apart nail pieces of priming lumber most raking bars are made from hexagonal stack for a more secure grip plumb up or a plummet is a weight usually with a pointed tip on the bottom it is a cone shaped metal suspended on a string and is used to test the verticalness of post or column and others. We have the bolo or sharp bolo. Tool used to sharpen the pointed tip of the sticks or pigs in construction. And may sometimes used in clearing the area of the site before layout begins. A digging bar. A digging bar is a long, straight, and metal bar used for various purposes, including a post hole digger to break up or loosen hard or compacted materials such as soil, rock, concrete, and as a lever to move objects. Not to be confused with a curb crew bar, which is designed to provide a leverage rather than to dig. The digging bar has two types. The first one is the flat bar or the flat digging bar. Second is the pointed digging bar or pointed bar. Pointed bar or the pointed bar tool is used when making the first attempt of making hole and slowly making a big hole for the sticks to dig into the ground. While flat bar it's a tool used to dig and make a hole into the ground and slowly getting the soil with its flat form and digging a sticks also in the ground or into the ground. We have the water hose level. Tool used to test the accuracy of horizontal level of the ground surface. Among others, this is the most accurate tool used in testing the horizontal nest of a surface. A water level is any device utilizing the surface of liquid water to establish local horizontal plane of preference. Used to determine the apparent inclination of an object or surface and for matching elevations of locations that are too far apart for a spirit level to expand. The simplest water level is a section of clear tubing partially filled with water. Utility cutter A utility knife or cutter generically called a Stanley knife is a knife used for general 
or utility purposes. In construction, it is simply used to cut nylons, strings, and eventually sharpen the pencil. The chisel or wood chisel tool used to trim wood and involves joint process of two lumber to fit in when connected or jointed. Chiseling involves forcing the blade into some material to cut it. The driving force may be applied by pushing by hand or by a mallet or hammer. Level bar or sometimes called spirit level. Tool used to test the vertical, diagonal, and horizontal position of the surface. This tool is used to mark straight line on a long piece of stock or lumber. Level bar or spirit level. We have the chalk line. This tool is used to mark straight line on a long piece of stock or lumber. We have also here the building transit or the surveyor. This is an optical instrument used to establish or verify points in the same horizontal plane in a process known as leveling and is used in conjunction with a leveling stop to establish the relative heights level of objects or marks. So we come now to the materials for stick out building lines. Quality materials are essential for quality results. Hand in hand with quality control, quality materials provide a sturdy and durable construction. In one hand, construction experts strongly advise against buying cheap materials, mostly due to quality issues. In effect, compromise the safety of the structure and may lead to unwanted accidents. Material has a major role in the creation of anything which makes it comfortable, durable, valuable, precious, and beautiful. Plywood is an alternative way of getting the squareness of a layout area. Plywood is milled or processed ready for use. We also have here the lumber. Lumber ranges from 2x2 to 2x3 two two which is used for construction. Lumber Material that is used in sticking or making sticks and butterboards for layout purposes. Lumber is a collective term for harvested wood, whether to cut into logs, heavy timbers, or members used in light frame construction. Common wire nails, a material used in fastening butterboards into sticks or pigs. A nail is a small object made of metal or wood. It's called a tree nail or tronel, which is used as a fastener. We have the nylon or string or nylon string. A material used as guide in reference line or used in the construction industry for a number of different applications. It is ideal for the construction industry because of its low weight, high pressure bearing capacity, high wear and corrosion resistant, an excellent impact resistant, and the advantages of nylon also includes its strength, durability, the high pressure bearing capacity, and corrosion resistance. Well, that would be all for this day. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless.